what's up YouTube? I'm Extraordinary Jr. and welcome to episode 0 of Pokemon X Egglock Run. I said episode 0 because, well, I have to explain how exactly I'm going to do this Egglock Run. So, I took about 12 minutes of footage from the beginning of the game, this is post-commentary, and I just wanted to explain how and why I decided to do Egglock and how the game's going to be slightly different because of it. For those of you who are watching, like, wait, what's an egglock run, David? I will explain. An egglock run is similar to a nuzlocke run. For those of you not familiar with nuzlocke run, I'll explain that right now. A nuzlocke run in Pokemon is an advanced mode of Pokemon you play in which you uh, make the game more difficult for yourself. There's three main rules. Rule number one being if a Pokemon dies in battle or, you know, from poison or any kind of, like, status element, it will be dead forever and has to be released. Rule number two... The first Pokemon you encounter on a route is the only Pokemon you're able to catch on that route. So let's say Route 1, I catch a Pidgey, level 2, that's my Pokemon. If I go on Route 2 and kill Raditz at level 5, well, tough shit, no Pokemon for Route 2 the rest of the game. Seems kind of shitty, right? Well, that's not like rule. Third and final rule, well, you have to nickname every Pokemon. Very simple. Now, an Egglock takes a spot of that Pokemon that I caught on Route 1, that Pidgey, but now that Pidgey becomes a coupon. And it's level 3 or level 2. When I go and pick up my egg and hatch it, let's say it's a Bulbasaur, uh, I can tramp that Pokemon to level 3. And then after that, it's my Route 1 Pokemon. Route 2, the Rattata that I killed, tough shit. Route 3, uh, Spearow level 5, catch it. Now I go and hatch a Charmander. That egg now can be trained up to level 5. It's very simple. It takes a lot of time, though. So yesterday, I made a video asking for eggs. I asked for 45 eggs, and so many subscribers had so many eggs. It could be thank you all. Uh, that was really, really helpful. It took me about an hour to get all the eggs. I thought it would take me to Monday. Uh, at the time of this recording, it is Sunday. So it took me less than a day. It took me about an hour, about 15 minutes to be exact, to get 40 eggs. I actually, now I believe I have like 45 eggs. I'm not really exactly sure. But I was really, really surprised at the outcome of just helpful support I got from fans. So thank you all for sending eggs. Thank you all who wanted to send eggs. And, and I'll even thank the people who did not know about me doing this because I know a lot of people would have came out and given me eggs. That was that was one of the greatest things I've ever seen because I just had help out of support. It was so helpful and cool. It really made me happy. But now we've we've talked about the egg lock. To get all those eggs, I had to um I had to play forward in the game to Santaline Town, the first gym town in the game, because well that had access to Pokeballs and the PC. So I had to skip uh, the first two towns in the game. Uh, Vanille and whatever this town is named. I sadly don't know the t name of this town. I've only been there once and I forgot the name of the recording. So I had to skip these two towns. There really is nothing that you miss except like introductory stuff like, oh, hey, this is your group of friends. And they're actually giving my guy a nickname right now. I'm looking at the screen. This is hysterical. What ends up happening here? I'm gonna, just going to let you guys read that if you want. But, uh, so I had to skip these two towns. Nothing really happened. Uh, my starting Pokemon, you know, <laughs> uh, they call me Big D. Uh, my starting Pokemon technically should have come from this town. It was just hatched in Santaline Town. It really doesn't matter. That Pokemon was level five, right? Trained up to level five, and that was my starter because, well, it was just easier for me. And uh, the videos going, going, continue on with the Egglock theme. Is, they're going to be 45 minutes long, probably 40 to 50 minutes, actually, but they're going to be once a week. Uh, the reason why I want to make this series the best it could possibly be, I have a lot of cool things I want to add. I have, like, a fucking banner. I have a lot of work I have to do to put into these videos, so I'm going to make them a lot longer, but the cost being once a week. Every Wednesday, I want to say, because this video is going to come out Tuesday morning or Tuesday afternoon. Uh... X Egglock, which is already recorded, uh, have to edit it still, have to put in a lot of things, uh, that will be out Wednesday, and then I'll keep stuff on the channel, like, we have the 60 Second Let's Plays, there's a Monday, Friday, uh, I have, to, I still have tutorials to do, I have, like, to be a Let's Player, which is, like, the tutorials on how to make good videos, those are Thursday, and then top fives and top tens will probably be released on weekends whenever I have an idea, so... That's that's my schedule kind of I'm gonna have a new background by the time episode one comes out hopefully and that will show my schedule as well So there's a lot of things I want to do with extraordinary junior There are a lot of new directions I want to go and I'm really excited to go X and Y Egglock and to be able to put it on YouTube in a big amount of time 
and to put it out with the best possible quality I can. And I know people are like, oh, come on, really? 50 minutes, that's it for a week? But I, I want to put out A++ quality. Not just like, you know, B++ quality, like just shoving videos out. Like, that's not going to be what I want to do. I have ideas that I need time for. I have top fives, top tens I need to record the script for, to edit, to put music to, to put video to, and this will give me a lot more time now to do that. And top fives will be improved, allows like more space between videos, and allows new people who have not seen my series or subscribe to look at it to have a chance to catch up and once a week is not even that bad really 50 mid videos really really helpful like the recording of episode one uh with everything everything not no breaking down the audio yet no recording the video yet i had a i stuffed at it the recording took an hour and 15 minutes that's like a 40 minute video 45 minute video and those were only get better quality as we go through the game and hatch eggs like i i've i'm already up to the first gym in episode one, I, I've just finished everything between this point and the first gym. That's not bad. That really is not that bad. And I'm okay with that. But with that being said, realistically, there is nothing else I can talk about. Thank you all for the eggs. I really am grateful. Uh, we explained the Egglock rules. We explained the series, how it is going to start in Santaline Town because, well, I had, to get, I had to get Pokemon balls. I had to go buy. I had to go buy them. I had to go trade with people. I had to do a lot of stuff. Uh... That was explained well. It's the first egg lock on YouTube, and thanks to you guys for making it easy for me to do that. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else I really need to talk about. We we pretty much covered everything that was important. So uh, join me Wednesday, everyone, when we start this series for real. And I hope this pilot episode answered any questions you may have about the X and Y series or. Anything else you might possibly have? Uh, any questions or ideas? Uh, leave a comment. I really don't think there's going to be too many. I think I covered all of my bases pretty well. And I will see you guys Wednesday with episode one. I will see you guys then.